Why would he do that? I don't know. Your sister-in-law tells us there was some tension in the home. <laughs> Sounds like Anne. Never quite got over Derek getting married. So, you had a good relationship with your husband then? Yes. I did. Anne took advantage of him his whole life. Never take responsibility for herself, always on the doorstep with her hand out, selfish to the core. And Derek could never say no to her. But I couldn't understand it. It was Anne who pushed him over the edge, not me. So your husband did take his own life then? Did Derek take his own life soon? Is that why you didn't report him missing? We've been to the house that you and Derek lived in together and we found Derek's blood in the bathroom. Postmortem indicates that he took his own life by cutting his wrists and a crude attempt was made to cover up that suicide by removing his hands. Did you remove his hands, Sue? Are you Wendy Nook? It's 60 for a hand job, 80 for a blow job and 95 for the full kahuna. No, I understand you play blow football. It's another tenner for blow football. How did you get that? I fell out of a tree. I'm Stephen Toast. Mrs. Purchase gave me your name, said you were the best in the business. I mean where blow football's concerned. Do you want to play afterwards or before, boy? No, no, you misunderstand. I'm not interested in the other. I want to win the River Rats Celebrity and Prostitute Blow Football Tournament, and I want you to be my partner. What's in it for me? It's for a good cause. Yeah? What? Homeless ponies. Yes. You're telling me they're homeless ponies? Yes. God almighty. That's dreadful. A very touching plight and... It's really quite sad. I mean... I'll tell you the story. That's the best way. You seem a kind soul. I'm all ears. <sighs> this is going back some 20 years or more, mind. Back in the 30s. I had an old uncle, a Dr. Rant. One autumn, Dr. Rant became ill, and they sent for me to nurse him. Come closer, Mary. There's something you must know. I've made my will in John's favor. Well, it's your money, Uncle Thomas. You can do what you like with it. Hilary Potter. She told me she was having the doctor around today. Oh, how do you know each other? We used to work together at the hospital back in the day. She was in admin. I still try and phone her sometimes, just to check she's all right. She doesn't like going outside if she can avoid it. Poor thing. Right, OK. Uh, how was your BP? Back on an even keel. 120 over 75. Good. And um, you're managing your medication? I remember to take them, if that's what you mean. BP tablets, antihistamine, blood thinners, all in a little container, AM and PM. Oh, sounds like I need you to organise my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do have a bit of cake. Accept, Tom, accept, I'm having accept, a little trouble with the accept. Home Assistant. Orders accepted. I'll call you back. I will mow the dog. <laughs> I will vacuum Victoria Sponge. And I will kill Louise. Oh, not this again. Kill the weeds. 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 Kill the... Yeah. Still got it. <laughs>